today we'll be doing this look inspired by Selena Gomez's most recent music video, De Una Vez. Ever since I saw the video, the whole look, makeup, hair, the flowers, dress, the whole aesthetic has been stuck in my head and I've been wanting to try it out. So for majority of the look, we'll be using Michelle's Fawn M Cosmetic and reviewing at the same time. So let's get to it. I already moisturized my face and now I'm using this Pixi Primer to start off the makeup. So far, feel so far. My dark circles are pretty bad, so I always use a corrector and a concealer. I'm using the Bobbi Brown corrector. I was never a big fan of correctors previously. Like I always used to think it used to be like very cakey. A little better. Uh, so much better. Next up is this Makeup Forever concealer. I always find it so much easier to use my fingers for concealer. My under eye has so many creases, so if I don't blend well, it becomes much more prominent. Even with powder on, it is so hard to blend. The chin area is a bit discolored here and then I'm on my period so breakouts for my face I'm using this Too Faced Born This Way foundation Next up is this translucent powder to set the look. I'm doing Whole30 right now and kombucha has become my guilty pleasure and I can't wait to be done. I have like a whole list of things I want to eat after whole 30 is over same thing uh with the translucent powder as well just pat your way through i finally bought michelle fonts m cosmetics one of the items i bought is this lip um which one called the lip cushion this one is very buttery it is like a lip balm but has a very peachy tone to it before i do any of my eye makeup i'm gonna nourish my lips first because it's hella dry First up is this primer from Too Faced. I also got Michelle's Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette from M Cosmetic. And this one is really beautiful. It has those peachy pink colors along with brown and has a great blend of shimmer as well as matte textures. This one, it's long lasting, it's very pigmented. And one thing I noticed, especially with the, not just with the dark colors, but the other colors as well, when I put it on, it doesn't shed. Not shed, but it doesn't fall off. It's pretty smooth and it blends very easily as well. First up, we'll be starting with the sunset color. And this one will go all over the eyelid. Next, I'm using this brown color, brown reddish color. It's called Phoenix. And I'll be placing this all over on the bottom of my eyelid as well as on the top to balance out the pink color. For the lower lid, I'm placing this very close to my waterline and then same thing for my upper lid as well very close to the lash line next I'm using this shimmery color at the bottom it's called radiant and this one I'm putting it under right here um, near my inner corner of my eye and then bring it all slowly all the way at the back and this is to brighten up the tired eyes your girl definitely needs it. Next up, I'm using this shimmery peachy color. It's called Magic Hour, and I'm gonna place this all over my lid. So whatever is left, I am swiping it all across. Since it's shimmery, it gives a nice pop. Now comes my favorite part. I'm using this shimmery eyeshadow. It's called Heavenly to brighten up the inner corners of my eyes. And then I'm using this dark brown color. It's called Terra to tightline my eyes. Next, I'm using this milk makeup blush. It's called Work with W E R K as the spelling. Just on the apple of the cheeks and then blend it away. I also got Heaven's Glow Magic Hour from M Cosmetic and this color is so freaking beautiful. It's shimmery, adds a very nice peachy tone to the cheeks and it's so easy to blend. I have to stop myself from going super crazy with this. Next I'm using Heavenly and Magic Hour. I'll be using this as my highlighter both cheekbones it gives such a beautiful color and whatever's left I'm gonna put it on my nose 
on to the cupid as well cupid cupid um next i'm prepping my eyes for mascara for this part i have to really concentrate i can't talk and do this at the same time it's very hard is it even kind of I also got this pick me up mascara from M Cosmetic. This one is for volume and to add length. Ow. I stabbed myself and it's screwed up here. All the things I bought from M Cosmetic, I really like the blush, I really like the eyeshadow palette, and also the lip balm. Mascara is all right. I don't know if I'll be repurchasing the mascara again. It is pretty lightweight, I would say that, but I don't think it's like that woo to get it again. I haven't retouched the lip cushion yet and this still feels very moisturizing and soft. I'm using the Anastasia Wiz Brow, which Wiz Brow Wiz. For my eyebrows, I don't know. I feel like kind of like a very shade shop with it. I just fill in wherever my hair is very sparse, 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 and that's it. Once I'm done filling in, I use this spoolie to blend it. For my hair, I'm using my trusty wand. In terms of sectioning, nothing crazy. I just have half up to here. And then I'm just gonna curl. I freaking love this wand. It gives a very soft curl. Once I'm done with the bottom section, I take out a little bit of hair from the bun and then put the remaining part back in the bun so I can focus on this section only. For curling, sometimes I do it away from my face and sometimes I do it towards my face, whatever I feel like it. But I'm needing you. My top is really flat, so I'm gonna use this texturizing hairspray, hopefully, to add some volume. For the hair, I am gonna take these two pieces and then put it the back like this. Since we'll be putting flowers on top of each section, I'm gonna use multiple bobby pins to secure the hair. I always like to make an X, it makes it much more secure. Push a little bit to so add a little bit of volume and it's not completely flat. For the flowers, I'm using a combination of fake and real flowers. For the pink, I bought this fake rose, but it is so freaking big. I can do this as like a standalone justice flower, but to do hair with multiple flowers, this is too freaking massive. So this one is a fake flower and has this thing at the back. This is my whole stash for the pink flower. I want the placement of this white flower and this pink flower the same way. I think it's leveled. Maybe a little bit at the back. Okay, it's leveled now. To finish off the look, I'm going to curl these sections like very slightly. I added one more flower at the back. Now I have two pink flowers, four of these fake flowers. Same thing, four fake flowers, and then the two pink ones. I really like this makeup. It's very soft, and at the same time, it's very glowy. The hair is really extra, but I can see myself wearing this on a hot summer day. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and support the channel. It truly means a lot. If you do end up trying this look, do let me know in the comments below or tag me in my Instagram. My Instagram is Tisha Shasta, and hope to see you guys next week. Bye. The